We are uh, here today in uh, Puche to attend uh, the Games Assembly 2018. We are here to uh, get in shape for the upcoming Benelux League and for the next upcoming Open Qualifiers of the Challenge League. What's unique about our team is we have different nationalities from the Netherlands, Denmark and Finland, which gives us, uh, in our case, it's given us a very nice chemistry in the team that's been there right from the start. We got this guys, we fucking got this. I can feel it. Come on. Yeah, let's get it. Oh. We are uh, working from a baseline. Every map, every bomb site, we have different uh, base strats. Based upon how the enemy team plays, we adjust accordingly and we try to uh, win every round. Nice, nice. So there are nine maps in the map pool. When we play best of threes, we get three bands each team. Basically, you are trying to uh, get rid of their good maps. So you are uh, trying to find out which map they will be playing a lot and be really dominating. So you can really like ban those maps against them to get a map in your favor. Ella is still kitchen, one is set. I'm reloading! When we first saw the group stage, our expectations were that we would uh, definitely be able to try and make it through towards the, the top eight. Market was a hard team in our group that we probably expected we were going to face after beating Orcs at uh, Peak Esports. Nice! Nice! We won both matches against Orcs and Peak Esports. So when we were facing Mocket, we didn't really have any stress behind us because we were already qualified for the playoffs. I'm being shot right now from the garage. In the end, we lost the match with 5-2, 5-3, but we were really looking forward to entering the playoffs against Millennium. All friendly. Our expectations against Millennium were that it was going to be a tough match since they are considered the favorite team in this whole tournament. Uh, we didn't expect to win it, but uh, we'd expect to give them a good fight. So when we, when we heard we, we were playing against Inisha, um, the first thing I told my, my players was like, those guys are really good. Uh, we should not underestimate them at all, even if they're not even in Challenger League, because they're great players and they performed very well in, in, uh, during the, the, the Gamer Assembly. So going into CAFE we were really skeptical because it was a map we hadn't practiced a lot. Uh, we knew what to do on it, but it's not a map we had played in a tournament before and especially not against such a high tier team as Millennium. You don't play it that often, you have some base strats, so you basically have to see what's going to happen. I'm throwing the impact up there. Smash it, don't get on the corner. You can't, I mean, that won't hurt anything really. And I think that in a LAN, it can be a strength because if you play a map that you don't play very often, you play it very freely. Uh, we're winning our gunfights and uh, that just basically uh, got us the victory on the first game and that was one of the most amazing feelings ever, knowing that, hey, we can actually do this. All right, we got momentum. They must be fucking tilted right now. I would fucking be tilted. Let's do this. We played uh, way too greedy, I guess, sometimes. Nice. nice! They finished nice. the mistake, so job, when uh, when you lose one or two rounds uh, on a clutch situation, then uh, after that you you can't do mistake anymore, and uh, the map is lost. Ten seconds left. Oh, no, oh, wait, oh. Really Five seconds remaining. Nice! Let's go! So actually, the fact that we lost Cafe to you was kind of surprising for us because it's one of our best maps. Most people ban it against us because it's really one of our main maps and many people fear us on CAFE. We really show them in a standard round. Mentally, like in, a, in your head, when you lose two clutches like that, well, one 1v4 and one 2v5, uh, it really kind of upsets you. So you usually go out of the map and you just say, okay, just go to the next and then we'll see what happens. The first six rounds went back and forth, uh, winning each defense for both teams, but not winning any attacks until we turned it around on the seventh round, where we won the attack. Uh, so we got the score to 4-3. Cover, 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 cover. I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. It's on me, it's on me. Let's scan. Nice! Yeah! And at that point, we really we were like, oh, damn, we're going to get a 2-0 on Millennium. This is amazing. But unfortunately, we made some mistakes which let us lose that round. And from there on, it went a little bit downwards and we lost the map 4-6. Probably planting. 
the mood was just like, okay guys, just keep going. Now we just keep going and we win this game. Our objective was to win the, the game reassembly and losing to Initial wasn't an option for us. So even though we lost third map, we still got so much positive energy from everyone watching because none of the French people knew who we were and we were here in third map with Millennium almost beating them. We tried to put up a good fight, see every round as a new beginning. It's like, okay guys, we can still get it back. I think we still did pretty good losing 3-5 versus them on the third map and really GG's to them. It was really nice to play them, we learned a lot. No! So after the game, Millennium posted a video on Twitter showing the team's reaction after winning, and that made me extremely proud because they were clearly very happy about the win. Uh, they expected it would be a tough match as well, but I don't think they expected it would be that close. It was the first match that we really struggled. They were really happy about beating a Benelux champion, and we showed a good Pro League team that we really know how to play.